Every search, every online interaction leaves a digital footprint, a trail of data that can be tracked, analysed and potentially used against us. This erosion of privacy has given rise to new anxieties, particularly about technologies that seem to intrude on our most private space, our minds. One such technology that has sparked both fear and fascination is Voice to Skull, or V2K. This purported technology claims to transmit sound directly into a person's brain, bypassing the ears entirely. While often relegated to the realm of science fiction and conspiracy theories, the very notion of V2K raises profound questions about the future of privacy and the potential for technology to be used for malicious purposes. As we delve deeper into the digital age, it is crucial to understand these emerging technologies and their implications for our lives. Voice to skull technology, at its core, proposes the ability to transmit sound directly into a person's brain. Proponents of this theory suggest that this can be achieved through various means, including electromagnetic radiation or microwaves. The idea is that these waves can interact with the brain's neural activity, creating the perception of sound without any external auditory stimulus. While the concept of directly stimulating the brain to induce sensory experiences is not entirely implausible, think of technologies like cochlear implants that restore hearing. The claims surrounding V2K remain largely unsubstantiated. There is currently no credible scientific evidence to support the existence of a technology capable of transmitting intelligible sound directly into a person's brain without their knowledge or consent. However, the lack of scientific evidence does not entirely dismiss the concerns surrounding V2K. The possibility of such technology being developed in the future, particularly in the context of rapid advancements in neuroscience and artificial intelligence, cannot be ignored. Therefore, it is essential to approach the topic with a critical but open mind, acknowledging both the lack of current evidence and the potential for future developments. While the existence of V2K technology remains unproven, the experience of electronic harassment is a reality for some individuals. Electronic harassment encompasses a wide range of intrusive behaviours facilitated by technology, often aimed at intimidating, harassing or controlling a target. This can include stalking, cyberbullying, identity theft and the use of spyware or other surveillance technologies. In the context of V2K, individuals who believe they are being targeted often report hearing voices, experiencing strange sensations, or feeling like their thoughts are being read. These experiences can be incredibly distressing and isolating, particularly given the lack of understanding and support surrounding these claims. While it is important to approach such claims with sensitivity and avoid dismissing them outright, it is also crucial to consider alternative explanations, such as mental health conditions or other environmental factors that could be contributing to these experiences. Distinguishing between genuine electronic harassment and other potential causes can be challenging and often requires professional expertise. If you believe you are being targeted, it is essential to document your experiences, seek support from trusted individuals or organisations, and consider consulting with mental health and cybersecurity professionals. The legal landscape surrounding electronic harassment, particularly in the context of V2K, is complex and constantly evolving. Existing laws often struggle to keep pace with the rapid advancements in technology, making it difficult to prosecute perpetrators or protect victims. For instance, laws against stalking and harassment may not adequately address the unique challenges posed by electronic harassment, particularly when it comes to proving intent, identifying perpetrators or gathering admissible evidence. Moreover, the very nature of electronic harassment, often characterised by its covert and insidious nature, makes it challenging to establish clear legal grounds for prosecution. Victims may struggle to provide concrete evidence of their experiences, especially in cases where the harassment is psychological or involves technologies that leave little or no trace. Despite these challenges, it is crucial to remember that victims of electronic harassment have rights and recourse within the legal system. 
reporting incidents to law enforcement seeking legal counsel and advocating for stronger legislation are all important steps in addressing this growing problem. As technology continues to advance, it's imperative that legal frameworks adapt to effectively protect individuals from electronic harassment and hold perpetrators accountable for their actions.